This is Tracy H.D. and I want to thank you for joining me for the monthly July 2015 tarot reading for the sign of Gemini. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. And for the middle of the month, I will take one from the center. And for the end of the month, we're going to take one from the bottom. Okay, Gemini, we have two reversed cards here. Okay, and what does the month of July look like for us? Well, we start the month out with this beautiful Queen of Cups. It's a beautiful uh, dark sky with the moon, full moon shining. She's sitting here beautifully in this, this purple uh, it looks like a velvet type of outfit, and she has the moonlight shining on her, and she has her cup in her hand, and she's sitting there amidst the lotus flowers, a very serene, peaceful, uh, very, very content look on her face, a very serious look on her face, I must say. And when we start the month of July with the Queen of Cups, what I'm getting from spirit here is basically this is a very emotional time in the beginning of the month. The cups are emotions. Uh, this could represent you, Gemini, or it could just represent an energy in the beginning of the month or someone in your life that gives off this type of energy. Uh, this person is loved by everyone. She's very honest and fair and decent. Uh, she sits there in the full moon, you know, surrounded by water, you know, holding her cup. She's a very nurturing and very caring type of person. Uh, so we start the month out in July, Gemini, with a very caring and nurturing type of energy or feel, or you may feel yourself um, being the caregiver in the beginning of the month and a very nurturing person. Let's see how the rest of the cards line up with this Queen of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles here, if it was right side up, looks like this beautiful woman. And she has nine pentacles to her left and a tiger sitting there very tame. However, we have her upside down in the middle of July, Gemini. And what is that meaning for you? Well, she has beautiful fruit trees too and birds. However, she's upside down. Okay, so reversed cards, uh, you know, in this situation have different meanings than if they appeared upright. And this reversed card here for the, the Nine of Pentacles, it appears that there could be some type of disharmony going on in the middle of the month, Gemini. Maybe some type of fighting or arguing or unrest at home, some type of financial strain, or you could possibly be a victim of some type of theft where something was taken away from you. Uh, the usual flow of things in your life in the middle of July are going to be slightly disrupted. And uh, it's going to, you know, it's it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. Okay, it's, it's going to be very discomforting, whatever it is in the middle of July. Uh, so it's possibly whatever it is that you're concerned about and emotional in the beginning of the month kind of comes to a head in the middle of the month. Okay, and this, this need in, in the beginning of the month for you to be nurturing is going to possibly be nurturing yourself in the middle of the month. If you find yourself in a situation that's very discomforting, be easy on yourself. Okay, so watch out for something in the middle of the month. It could be very stressful in your home. You could be nurturing someone else, or you may be the one that needs the nurturing. So the month starts out with you being very caring and kind. And in the middle of the month, something takes place where you're going to have to display that caring and kindness and softness within yourself. And then at the end of the month, we have the second reversed card, which is the Nine of Cups. And this card, if it is upright, looks like this beautiful woman. 
beautiful woman. She's sitting under the moonlight. Uh, she has the cup surrounding her down below alongside. And it's a, a beautiful, beautiful picture. It looks like it's in the evening. Of course, the moon is out. Uh, and the Nine of Cups, again, it, it, it's a reversed card. Uh, this, this card, if it was upright, the Nine of Cups would signify the Wish card. However, uh, with it being reversed, okay, it symbolizes some type of a delay of reaching your goal or having your, your wish come true. It means that at the end of the month, your dream isn't actually going to come to fruition. Or you could possibly be having some type of unrealistic expectation or lofty desires at the end of the month. So there's some type of a delay. So taking on the energy at the beginning of the month, I would suggest to try to carry that energy throughout the whole month of July. Be easy on yourself. Uh, something that happened in the middle of the month might not be resolved or straightened out by the end of the month. There's going to be a delay. There's going to be a delay in July. So don't expect things that have taken place during the month of July to resolve themselves by the end of the month. It's going to take a little longer. And I know being a Gemini myself, we're not the most patient people. We, we want things and we want them now. And we don't like to wait. And we're very fast and quick paced. But I think during the month of July, we're going to have to slow down a little. Realize that you know, nurturing and giving care to ourselves is going to be the most important thing to see us through whatever takes place during this month of July. Um, some type of disappointment or unrest in the middle of the month and then some delay at the end of the month. But I'm sure you're going to be fine if you continue to try to keep a peaceful attitude about it. Realize that everything happens for a reason and whatever is happening is going to make you a stronger person. But there will be a delay. It just won't be resolved by the end of the month. We'll have to see what August brings us. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Take care.